Aberdeen Football Club today firmly put out a statement of intent after announcing the marquee signing of Leighton Clarkson on a four-year deal for an undisclosed fee. It's got the entire fan base talking. The Red Army is buzzing. Hi everybody, how are you doing? A very warm welcome to Ali Beg ABTV. We're back, we're back, we're back. And what a day to come back as well. What fabulous news coming out of the football club today that Leighton Clarkson has signed on. Absolutely buzzing that the 21-year-old has decided to put pen to paper on what is a long-term deal. And just you just have to look at the reaction online and it tells you everything you need to know about how delighted everybody is. And uh, yeah, so tonight is all about you. It's, uh, I'm going to open the floor to you guys, the fans, to come on, leave your messages under the, the video. And what I'll do is I'll just read them out tonight and we'll just, you know, no time restriction tonight. We'll just go at it and we'll just get your reaction to today's big news. And if you want to react to all the other bits and pieces that have come out the football club in the past few days, absolutely feel free. Obviously, we've let a few players go. There's a talk of other players coming in. As well. So if you want to have your say, just leave your comment, be respectful, don't use bad language. And yeah, we'll just read them out and we'll just crack on and we'll just have an absolutely brilliant time. So I've got a few bits and pieces for you and then we'll open it up to the floor. So first of all, let's just get Leighton's reaction to the news today. This is what he had to say to Red TV. I'm over the moon, to be honest. I loved my time here last year. I enjoyed everything about the club, the city, the people. It's a new challenge with Europe as well. And what Barry has done since he's come back to the club, I believe he will make me a better player. He really wanted to get me back and I'm just happy I am here. Let's just remind you of his stats. So don't forget, big four-year contract. So he's made 37 appearances for the Dons, scored six goals with a number of assists as well. Can I just also take this opportunity to thank Craig Cameron, and Mike Logie from Saltire Energy, who have come on board for another season here on Ali Beg ABTV. They've decided that they want to come back and sponsor the channel again. So I'm very, very grateful to everybody at Saltire Energy for their continued support with Ali Beg ABTV. The gaffer had this to say. There's no doubt Leighton has had a positive impact during his time with us last season and it's hugely encouraging that he has now chosen this club as his home and the best place for his continued development. He is a brilliant prospect and exactly the type of player we want here at the club. He's young, hungry and technically very good. Barry went on to say, he was much admired for the creativity he brought on the pitch and showed a real affinity with the supporters during his time at Pataudry last season. We are shaping the squad up for playing both in Europe and domestically and we will be looking to announce more new faces in the very near future. That's what the gaffer had to say after today's big announcement. Alan Burrows tweeted earlier today as well and he has said that there will be an announcement on more signings very soon. So I think um, that it's absolutely right to applaud everybody involved with getting this deal across the line. I know Stephen Gunn has worked tirelessly to get this deal done, and I absolutely tip my hat to him. Alan Burrows, who's overseen everything, and then obviously the chairman, who has kept a close eye on it all and has obviously helped it from a financial situation as well. So... I think they deserve a huge amount of credit with obviously a lot of work still to be done and it continues. I know that the, the guys are working very hard behind the scenes and they've hardly had any days off at all. So it's absolutely fantastic news and what I'm looking for now is just for you to come on and just tell me what you think. Um, there's been, did you see, um, I need to find it. Did you see the, the tweet that the football club put out after they put out the tweet about Leighton? Um, the lad on... Instagram called Jamie.1903 who said to Leighton, stay at the Dons and I'll get your name tattooed on me. And Leighton responded by saying, challenge accepted. And then the football club 
<laughs> tweeted that Instagram post today. I swear to God, I really, really hope he goes through with his tattoo and I really hope they catch it on film as well because I just think it would be absolutely hilarious. So let's open it up. Let's find out how you're all doing. Oh, isn't it just absolutely phenomenal? Okay, wow, over a hundred of you on already tonight. Brilliant, <laughs> thank you so much. Honestly, I'm 50 years old and I feel like a kid. I have not been this excited since probably meeting Sonia at the Radio 1 Roadshow in Dundee in 1993. That's how excited I am. <laughs> 50 years old and I'm giddy as. Oh dear. Right. <laughs> Al Mapal has quite simply said, yes. Can't be bothered has said, what a signing Clarkson is. Now let's go out and get Shinny and the Croatian lad. However, not too sure about signing the attacker. Harvey Blair from Liverpool would much prefer giving Bavage a go. So talking about the Croatian lads, because we have been linked with a couple of these boys. So the first one that we were linked with is um, Tonio Teklic who's a 23-year-old attacking midfielder. He's currently playing for NK Varys Din, um, where he's actually on loan. He's a Croatian uh, national, uh, 23 years old. And we've also been linked with a 24-year-old Slovenian striker, Esther Sokler, I think is how you pronounce it. And he's currently playing for NK Radom Lee. Um, now, to find out more information about these guys, what I suggest you do is look up a Twitter account called Abalytics. And on that site, he's posted a number of graphs and stats about these players that we've been linked with. It's an absolutely fascinating read. So go and have a little look at that and you'll be able to see everything and all the information about the players that we're getting linked with. Uh, Gary Milner said, unbelievable that we have signed a player of his class. Wow. Laurel101 has said, still feels like I'm dreaming. Our uh, 33 and Turda said, what are we thinking the fee was? So I don't know, obviously, but what I can tell you, um, so I have been reliably informed today by somebody who is very close to Liverpool Football Club that he's turned down a number of clubs, a number of clubs in the English Championships and clubs in the Scottish Premiership. And I've been told, so don't take it for gospel, but I've been told that he turned down Rangers. Take that as you will. Um, some people are suggesting it could be seven figures. Ewan Grant. Hi, Ewan. How you doing? Well, 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 he says. Now that is a statement of intent. Massive credit to the, uh, the directorship team. I so really have cause to say this, but boy, am I impressed. Uh, he goes on. To, uh, yeah, sorry. Chris Clark has said, Good evening, everybody. Delighted to see all Don's fans in agreement about how great a signing Clarkson is. Very rare. We all tr we all fully agree. Let's hope for some more big signings. Come on, you Reds. Fraser Gunn is here. Hi, Fraser. Amazing signing. Four-year deal is so much better than I ever hoped or dreamed for. Great sign of intent. Now looking forward to who follows suit. He goes on to say... Leighton Clarkson has genuine star quality. I completely agree. Uh, Scott W has said, good evening to everybody that's watching tonight. How are you doing, Scott? Uh, Angela Hamilton is here. Hi, Angela. What a day. Absolutely buzzing. Jason Campbell has said, great start to the season. Gordon Downey has said, get in. Fantastic piece of business. Surely puts a marker down to our intentions as a club. Need to make sure we build on this. Hopefully the recruitment team and Barry are working strategically on it. I'm absolutely sure they are, Paul. Gavin Bush has said, amazing signing. Can't wait for the new season. Um, Scott W went on to say, uh, brilliant. It was obvious the laddie wanted to come to the famous. It's absolutely incredible to get this deal done and dusted. Museman121 said, best signing, hopefully Shinny is next. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I really hope we can get Graham over the line. Uh, obviously, the, there's there's been some sort of change in direction with Wigan because they've been bought over. Players have now been paid. Um, I think they're starting to cover their debts and all that sort of stuff, which now means that if we want him, we would have to pay a fee for him. But again, from what I can understand, the club are working on it. So it all remains to be seen. The other players that I would like to see 
come back, I would love to get Matty Pollock back from Watford. I really would. And I have to be honest, I would love for us to try and do a deal for Liam Scales because I thought Liam in the last sort of, you know, since Barry came in, to be honest, I thought was absolutely magnificent in that back three with Angus, uh, Matty and uh, and himself. So I'd love to see those deals get over the line. But let's uh, let's wait and see what happens. Um, okay. <laughs> Adam Stephen said, uh, Leighton only signed because he wanted ABTV Live done. <laughs> you so know, don't you, fella? Um, uh, Scott W said, uh, following on from what we, we were talking about with the club's interest, that he has heard that Rangers and Celtic were both interested in signing him. So this is a real show of intent. Brilliant news. Alexander Wallace has said, great news. Solid start to the recruitment for the season. Come on, you Reds. Um, Tutti Tree and Turda said, hello from Dublin, sitting in the garden, sipping a well-deserved beer. John Curry has said, uh, John Curry, or Curry, sorry, John. A brilliant signing from the Dons, pure class. Graham Clark is wishing everybody a good evening. Hope you're all well. What a day. What a signing. Huge intent from the club. Hopefully more to come. Club have definitely pulled out all the stops. Liverpool will benefit too. Crypto Kev has said, unbelievable. Shows we mean business and should tempt other decent players to come to us. Think Barry played a big part in getting him back. I completely agree. Um, Hayden Ritchie has said, three or four of his calibre and will be well in. Come on your reds. Um, yeah, I, again, I have to be honest, I cannot remember feeling this excited about a signing since probably, and I'm going back a long time, and I mean this with the greatest of respect, um, but when Shinza came back, I was, you know, I was, oh, I was buzzing about that, but I have to be honest, it's, I'm going to go back to the days of Charlie Nicholas and Hans Heelhouse. That's how far back I'm going to go when I felt this excited. You know, when the butterflies are really churning in your stomach and you're just like, oh my God. That's how excited I am. Um, tell me what you, tell me the last time that you were really buzzing for a signing. Okay. Uh, Fraser Gunn has said, hoping Shinny signs on soon. Pollock would be amazing. However, the vibe is that might be out of our reach. Uh, perhaps Jay Isdes might be a decent centre-back, but that seems to have dragged out for a while. Yeah, that's the lad from Holland, isn't it? Uh, Go Ahead Eagles, I believe. Um, Derek Griffiths has said, absolutely brilliant from AFC. Still can't believe we pulled this off. Hopefully a few more to come. Alan Tasker is here. Hi, Alan. Hope you're well. This is... This is sort of the this is the type of loon that we need in this squad. Such a positive signing will sell shirts as well. Uh, Graham Mack has come on and he's asking the question that it's one and a half million. Is that true? We don't know, Graham. Honestly, don't know, mate. I've not heard any figures being bounded around, so I really don't know. Hi, Lee. Lee Doubles is here. How are you doing? She's absolutely delighted at the permanent signing of Leighton Clarkson. What a signing. Quality player. Real quality. Let's get Shinny home permanently too. Um, Scott W said, I'm looking forward to the Slovenian striker and Czech midfielder being announced next week too. This could be the best preseason window we've had in many, many years. Graham Clark has said, on the release players, not a huge surprise to be fair. However, Marley was a slight shock. He did a job for us off the bench, although didn't score goals. Um, yeah, so Marley Watkins, Connor McLennan, Matty Kennedy, Dean Campbell all left us. Um, I got to be honest, I, I wasn't overly surprised by any of them um, that left. Yeah, I, I can see why people uh, might have raised an eyebrow about Marley Watkins. Um, I actually thought he did okay. But yeah, he just didn't score enough goals. Put in a shift, but just didn't score enough goals. Um, wish them all well, obviously. David Scott said, absolutely buzzing with this fantastic news. Uh, Crypto Kev said, some believe it was for less than a million. Bargain, if that is the case. Uh, Graham Mack is asking other sell-on clauses. I, do you know, I'd be surprised if there wasn't. Let's put it that way. Callum Murray has said, so important it was a permanent move, not a loan. Great business by the club. Norman Armour is here. Hi, Norman. This is the best news I've heard today. Amazing player and totally buzzing that he chose us stand free. 
Um, Graham Clark went on to say, continued comment on Marley. As I said, didn't score goals, but did a job. I feel it's very hard to keep bench players happy. And though I don't think Marley was happy with that, he was always very professional. Yeah. The Mad Ferret has said, it feels like I've won the lottery tonight. <laughs> James Brown has said, this is a huge signing for the Dons. Uh, Donnie Anderson has said, up there with Charlie Nick signing. Come on, you Reds. Graham Fyad has said, shinny next, hopefully. Paul Matthewson is here. Hi, Paul. I really thought he would end up in the English Championship. Well done, AFC. Statement of intent. Um, it's in, I watched his Red TV interview just before we, we, we came on tonight. And, I, um, and we, 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 you know, us as the sort of the ABTV community, if you like to call it, we all discussed as the season was coming to a close how important it was to get that third place and then get into this Europa League qualifier. And, you know, whether we get into the Europa League or drop down into the Conference League, it doesn't matter. The fact that, you know, we, we're guaranteed European football until December at least is a huge pull for any player that wants to play on what is a very high level and a stage, a big stage. And you're not going to get that in the English Championship. Okay, TV coverage and all that, it's by the by. Um, but to play in Europe at that level, that's a big pull. You know, and this is where, you know, again, where Barry and his, his staff have just done an unbelievable job uh, since they've, they've came in. Just absolutely superb. And it's all that work that is now leading to us being able to sign players of the calibre of Leighton Clarkson. Um, Adam, Adam Binney has said, I was at the Monsters of Rock in 1993. <laughs> uh, SITV Network has said, what a signing. This would never happen under Milne. Think Dave deserves credit as well as Burroughs and Gunn. Yeah, I completely agree. They all deserve a huge amount of credit. Um, Graham Clark is back saying, keeping my hope now for maybe Scales and Shinny, or I think there'll be difficulties with both being that Ange has left Celtic and Wigan has the uh, and has the ban uh, and can't sign a replacement, but let's stay hopeful. Um, Scott W is suggesting, from what he has read, that the Slovenian player is a done deal. It's just a case of getting the work permit done. Uh, Elijah, Bock, Elijah Blocks TV said, great signing. He can have great potential. We can sign the best of players. Hopefully, that can play well. Uh, Clive is here. Haven't been this excited about signing since we signed Charlie Nicholas from Arsenal. Sandy Fogey. Hi, Sandy. Um, cracking news today. Hope you're well, fella. And hi, Phil McLean. I hope you're well as well. I was expecting another season-long deal. Thanks to everyone at the club. Amazing. Um... Nothing from Watford yet, Sandy. Sandy's asking about Pollock. Nothing yet, fella. Uh, Robert Clerichew is here. Great signing. And hopefully the kind of player he is will entice other players of his stature to sign. Uh, SITV Network said, I think the Dutch boy Izadez, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, E-I-Izadez, Izadez, will be uh, Liam Scales' replacement. Yeah, could possibly be. Museman one two ones back saying it's not just a fantastic footballing signing, but a brilliant business signing for the future on the financial side. Exactly. Graham Klein. Hi, Graham. Here I was thinking it was starting to drag on without any movement. Hopefully a few more in the door. Let's not forget. Sorry, just need a wee slurp of tea here. Let's not forget that it's only been a couple of weeks. What, two, two and a half weeks? Since the season ended, and there was the, from what I understand, there was some of the players in particular got a few days off, 10 days, I think, 11, 10 or 11 days they got off, back in. Um, I think next week, I think they're back in. And because I know a few clubs are back next week, I know St. Johnston are back next week. So there was, I think there was always going to be that time just to sort of let everyone just have a bit of a break, come back completely fresh, and boom, straight into it. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just magnificent. God almighty, it's just magnificent. Um, Linda Austin makes a very interesting point about um, the most exciting player that's that's been signed. She said, probably Craig Hignett. Hopefully lasts longer. Yeah, actually, Craig Hignett is a great show. I know, obviously, it didn't work out with Craig Hignett. And uh, believe it or not, I... I actually met Craig Hignett. Uh, just, just indulge me for just a moment. 
I actually met him. So let me think what year this was. So it was the year I broke my leg. So 2003, and I was getting rehabilitation at Blackburn Rovers Football Club. I was very fortunate that a good friend of mine is a chap called Dave Fever, who used to be the Manchester United physio, and at the time was the Blackburn Rovers physio, and he was treating me. And uh, Craig Hignett um, was playing for Blackburn at the time, and he was getting a bit of treatment, and I, I kind of <laughs> plucked up the courage to ask him why he left. And it was down to family reasons. That's all it was. It was just simply down to family reasons. Because um, I know that he came in for quite a lot of stick. A lot of people called him a mercenary and all that sort of stuff. But it was purely down for family reasons. That's why. That's the reason why he left. Okay. But a good shout, Linda. Uh, Ralph is here. Hi, Ralph. How are you? So happy. Four-year deal is brilliant and shows ambition from the club. Hopefully the first of many signings to keep the fans happy. David Gold has said, I was a real young loon when Super Hands and Champagne Charlie signed. They were real quality. Uh, Scott W. also agrees that he also has to go back to the days of Charlie Nicholas and Hans Heel House. Um, David Gold says, Shinny will be back. I have no doubt about it. Uh, Steve M. is here. Hi, Steve. Just joined the chat. Rumour is Calvin Ramsey selling clauses waived and sub one million price. Okay. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for coming on and giving us that. Um, I see, uh, grateful to you. Thank you. I see Calvin's gone to uh, Preston. For a season-long loan, I think it is. Um, Stuart Cleary has said, agree, defo, last time buzzing. Like this was for Champagne Charlie. Elijah Blocks TV said, Shinny would be a crystal signing. It would be up top as one of our best signings. Yeah, I agree. Everyone's talking about uh, Graham Shinny coming back. So many of you. Um... SITV Network makes a great point. He just said, I love the fact that we're signing young players and not the Craig Brewster type of player. <laughs> Angela Hamilton has said, if we get shinny, the whole of Scotland will hear me celebrate. <laughs> Jim Balfour's here. Hi, Jim. How are you, fella? Ambitious management who take opportunities in this manner promote the same attitude in their players. This bodes well but we'll need to be ready for opponents wanting to knock us off track. I think we'll be ready, Jim. Uh, SD1903 says, what a signing over the moon. Al Mitchell's here. I said, hi, folks. Amazing signing. Come on, you Reds. Wonderful signing, says David Swinton. Still can't believe it. Most influential player since Gordon Strachan. Good shout. Um, can't be bothered, said, yeah, you make a very nice point. Sad to hear the passing of Gordon McQueen. Thoughts and prayers go to his family. So again, just slightly indulge me. I got very fortunate that I, I, I got to, to meet and got to know Gordon fairly well during my time at MUTV when I, worked at, when I first moved into sports broadcasting back in 1999. And he used to come in and do a lot of our studio shows. And what a lovely man, honestly, an absolute gentleman and always willing to share a laugh, share a joke, tell great stories about his time with Scotland and just a lovely, lovely man. Um, so condolences to Haley, his daughter, who I also know fairly well, and uh, to obviously his loving family as well. It's a, you know, I've said it before on the channel, dementia is a horrible disease. I lost my, my own mum to it three years ago and it's it's absolutely horrific and for any of you who have got family members who are suffering with dementia you know my heart goes out to you um but gordon mccream was a a wonderful guy and will be very very sadly missed um thank you for uh, reminding us of that thank you uh, norman arma said cannot wait to get back to Pataudry, buzzing for next season in europe hey don't forget the season tickets hey eh? again i I absolutely tip my hat to everybody that's making the effort. The fans' efforts over the past few months have also been absolutely fantastic. It's just brilliant. There's such a real buzz about the place and everybody's just... There's nothing but positivity and I love the fact that there is so much positivity about the place at the moment. You know, we keep talking about this turnaround since January and, oh my God, what a, what a last six months. Just phenomenal. Um... Uh, sorry, bear with me while I just go through some of these. 
Uh, Charlie Ross is here. Hi, Charlie. How are you doing? What a signing. I was a little nervous thinking it, if it would happen. Get Shinny in the door now. Uh, Jeff is here saying, here's a memorable signing. The return of King Joe Harper. Wow, that's a great shout, Jeff. Uh, Museman121 said, it's great we are signing players from other parts of Europe. Staff involved, really doing the research, working hard to get the right players in that fit Robson's plans. Stephen Lyle has said, already looking forward to the new season. John Curry is back saying, Dean Windass was a great player. Hopefully Leighton will give the club the same boost. Gavin Bush has said, Jazza gave me butterflies at his signing. What a player he was. Yeah, Jim Bet. Um... <laughs> So, as we're talking, so do you know Terry McDermott, the singer who lives in America? <laughs> he's just text me, right? This is what he's text. Holy shit. <laughs> he says, I still can't believe it. The absolute best outcome. Better than we could have expected. And apparently we've broken our transfer record. And he finishes by saying, if you do a show about Clarkson signing, I want to be on it. <laughs> Mate, we're live on YouTube as we speak. I've just read out your texts. <laughs> get on YouTube, man. <laughs> Let's get back to your comments. Oh, this is such fun. I love it. Um... John Ironside has said, finger sore from refreshing Twitter all day, ambitious signing and shows the positive side of going down the loan route. Jason Campbell has said, Anthony Stewart gave me butterflies in my stomach. Oh wait, no, that was not. <laughs> oh, Jason, that's shocking. Uh, David Gold has said, looking forward to the European nights at Pataudry. Um, Angela Hamilton has said, might do a Jack Grealish and celebrate for a few days. <laughs> Uh, Gary Bjorklund has said, need a bit of quality all around the pitch. Yeah. Uh, Alan Derek White has said, great signing, but what are the chances of doing a show at a tattoo parlor for the guy who said he would get Clarkson's name tattooed on him if we sign him? Do you know, I, I said at the top of the show, um, Alan, that they, you know, they have to film it. And I tell you what I think would be really cool is if Leighton was there as well. And I think, I, I don't know how the guy wants it done, but I think Leighton should Sign his name, do his autograph somewhere appropriate, and um, yeah, just get it tattooed, you know, and just film it, and you know, because that's you know that's the type of stuff that the you know the football club should be putting out on their social medias and all that sort of stuff, and I just think it'd be really really good fun, um, and I really hope the boy goes through with it. Right, thank you for all your comments coming in. Uh, it's been really really good tonight. We've done nearly half an hour, so we'll just keep going because they're still coming in. Um, SITV Network has said, I think Celtic will be too much next season, but the Champions League will be up for grabs when Beal gets sacked at Christmas. Terry McDermott, here he is. He's leaving messages now. All right, fella. Um, I've had a full-on route all day. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely stunning. Hope you're talking about the signing. <laughs> Oh, Christ on a bank. Um, Graham Mack is back saying, anyone else remember the last game at Ibrox, Clarkson walking off the pitch and Beal going for a word with him with Leighton just shrugging him off. Rumours f uh, flying that Beal was asking him to sign. Yep. Jim Balfour's back. All right, Jim, the club's media guys will get the exclusive on the tattoo and probably get the TV news teams in. Uh, Brian McAngus is here. Just woke up after working night shift. Am I still dreaming? No, you're not, Brian. Uh, Laura 101 has said, what are the new rules on percentages of homegrown players playing in Europe? Could be more UK-based players on the way. God, that's a really good question. And honestly, I don't have a clue. Um, it's something I need to do my research on and it's something I need to look up for the new season. Um... Sandy Fifogi's back saying, if he's going to sign, uh, he'll just... Uh, yeah, sorry, mate, I don't quite get that. Um, Terry McDermott also said, rest in peace, Gordon McQueen. Um, yeah, so a few of you asking about homegrown players. Um, so, 
just a, a little bit of housekeeping for you. So we're in the midst of sort of rebranding the channel. Um, I'm sort of currently working on that at the moment and sort of looking to bring in new elements um, and all that sort of stuff. So um, I'm very grateful to those of you who have recently joined the membership on Alibeg ABTV. Excuse me, that's helping me greatly with what I'm trying to do. If, you, if you're unaware of the membership, just uh, click the join button underneath. You have to do it on your laptop. Underneath what is the banner, you'll see a little button. Press join and you'll see the perks of, of why you should join and why it would help me massively. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. If you're watching uh, and you haven't subscribed, I'd be very grateful if you would also subscribe. You know, we're, we're getting ever so closer to sort of 3,000 subscribers, which is just incredible. Um, and then we're getting really ready to kick on for next season. But... Um, for the beginning of the season, I'm not quite going to be able to do what I envisage because I'm going to Australia for a month. I'm going down to produce the Women's World Cup and I don't get back until the 13th or the 14th of August. But my plans are is that while I'm down there, I'm still going to try and do shows. So I'm, I'm, once I get my schedule, um, I will then work out what sort of shows I can do because I don't want to let you down. Um, you know, uh, I'm very grateful for your support and I want to continue to put shows out and I want to continue to build the community and I want to just bring as much content as I possibly can to you. So just bear with me while I'm down there. Obviously, I can't have the studio settings and all that sort of stuff, but I am aiming to do shows uh, while I'm down the road. Um, so yeah, just, uh, just bear with me while I'm away for a month. Um, Al Mitchell, I said, we're going to have a fabulous season. I feel it in my bones. Okay, David Gold has said, need a minimum of eight homegrown players for a 25-man squad. Uh, Ewan Grant is back. He's also just uh, just confirming this point. So in, in, in regard to the homegrown players rule, to clear 25-player squad for Europe needs four as a youth player at the club and eight as a youth player in Scotland. Thank you, Ewan. Top man. Douglas Thompson uh, has said, for me, Shira was a class signing back in the day. Yeah. Rob Clark's here. Hi, Rob. How are you doing? Lovely to see you, mate. Uh, I'm just home from work and catching up with the news. Absolutely buzzing. Yeah, I think we're all buzzing. Right, guys. So we've done just over half an hour. Um, thank you for coming on. It's uh, As always, it's been absolutely brilliant. Uh, I've had great fun tonight. I really hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, look, we'll, we'll keep shows coming. Uh, I don't go away until... When do I go away? Uh... The 9th of July, I go away. Um, so we'll keep doing shows up until then. If anything else happens at the football club, boom, just keep an eye on socials. We'll get straight back on. We'll get all you on as well. So thanks, guys. Listen, have an absolutely brilliant evening. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Come on, buzzing.